So I'm pleased to welcome Ayush Bhatnagar, Senior Vice President for Geo Platforms. Welcome, Ayush. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure to be part of the Mobile World Congress and to be here talking to you about the latest and the greatest developments in the industry. So we have a lot to talk about. We have a, a big deployment last year, probably one of the biggest 5G deployments around the globe. Um, also, uh, we're going to talk about 5G in advance. But first, let's go back to 2022. Uh, Geo Platforms had an impressive 2022 with the launch of the world's largest 5G standalone core network. How is Geo Platforms planning to capitalize in 2023? The year 2022 has been a pivotal year for India as a country and also for Reliance Geo and Geo Platforms, both, both the entities. It has been a roller coaster ride. Uh, we launched services in October of 2022, and it has been a great learning experience as well as a great experience technically for all the engineers at Geo Platforms. And not only have we deployed the network, we are en uh, en route, en route to be scaling this network to be one of the largest in the world. So 2023 would only build upon the progress that we have made in 2022. And perhaps the, one of the greatest uh, achievements of 2023 would be the innovative services that we bring to the market and also the network innovations that we actually implement in production in the field. Okay, great. So what technology factors and drivers do you see as being critical for 5G Advance? So 5G Advance is very unique in the sense that for the very first time, the standards have started encompassing the use cases apart from the core network and the radio standards. There are use case specific specifications such as those for robotics, for healthcare, for V2X, for XR, and that is a great step forward because that amalgamates what you can do with the technology along with the use cases in a standardized manner. And it paves the way for faster adoption of these technologies in different, different parts of the industry. So that is one of the biggest pivotal factors apart from the usual optimizations that are part and parcel of standardization. There's a lot of operators that are talking about 5G advanced. How does Geo Platforms stand out or differentiate yourself from the other operators who are talking about it? So one of the greatest uh, differentiator is that uh, Geo Platforms has created its own 5G technology that includes the core network and the radio network and also the IT platforms on top of it. And as a incumbent supplier to Reliance Geo, who is the service provider in India, it gives us a unique opportunity to co-innovate and to launch new capabilities of the network faster into the market. And 5G Advance will not be any different. We started off with a standalone core compliant to the latest standards in the industry. We scaled that out. And now with 5G Advanced, we are looking to capitalize on top of this progress uh, in a very rapid manner. OK. Well, we have time for one more. So you're part of a session, uh, 5G Advanced, ready for takeoff. Can you give us the highlights of what makes 5G Advanced so interesting? Yes. So uh, in this particular session, we cherry pick certain capabilities which are on the anvil for Industry 4.0, for example, for entertainment, for gaming, for uh, a lot of vertical industries. And what Geo Platforms is doing as an entity or as a company to innovate around these areas, and what societal and economic impact would those innovations bring to the market. So that, in some substance, would be the focus of the session on 5G Advanced. OK, well, I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about uh, Geo Platforms as the year goes along. So thanks for taking the time to catch us up on some of the industry's most important topics. My pleasure. Thank you for having me here.